My name is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie, I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make a hundred thousand dollars a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, cause all I pick is winners. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks, money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the VIP Sports Podcast, February 26, 2016. Steve Stevens, a.k.a. The Bookie Killer, sitting here with my partner, The Big Skipper. What's going on, Skip? Trying to think of 67, Podcast 67. <laughs> it's got to be some kind of offensive tackle, offensive guard, probably. Can't think of any 67s. I miss Mario Lemieux with 66. Uh, Bill Berge with 66. I can't think of any 67s. Well, buddy, we'll be at 100 and 200 and 300 before you know it, pal, so be ready to go. Anyway, another day, another dollar out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Weather is beautiful. Perfect timing for March Madness Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't come out to Las Vegas during the March Madness Tournament, I mean, think about it, Skip. Is this not the best time of the year for the weather and to make money? It's the absolute best time of the year to be in Las Vegas. Hashtag lie to your wife. Hashtag tell her you're coming for a vacation. She won't have a clue about the tournament. Come up with some mysterious illnesses for no, your No, it's boss. not even an illness. Tell the wife that, baby, I love you so much, or your girlfriend, I like you so much. Let's go to Vegas and hang out for the weekend and have a good time. She won't have any fucking clue that the tournament's here. Bring an extra fifty or 100000 Call Steve, call the big skipper, go in the other room and grab the games, and I'll make you more money than you've ever time made out. in your motherfucking life. Time out, time out. You're talking about lying to your wife. People, our friend Steve Stevens, the man, the myth, is legend. <laughs> He's talking about lying to his wife. Didn't you just give Kelly a ring last night? Yeah, I sure did, Skipper. I sure did. Congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Thank Stevens you, got engaged last night. Well, but what are you supposed to do after two kids? For those of know? us that don't know, Steve popped the uh, question on Kelly last night. Uh, gave her the big ass ring. The thing is, I can see it shining from here. Uh, just a light 5.1 uh, oval uh, center, you know, VS2. No big deal. Just a light 80K. So no the big night deal. after you get engaged, you're in here telling our fans to lie to their wives and come to fucking March Madness. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Kelly, I listen. It. I, I love, love it. Kelly, I love you so much, man. We got to go on a vacation. We need to get massage. Soon as she goes to get her massage, oh yeah, I'd be down at the book getting you're going down. To, <laughs> you're going to March Madness. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm talking about making money because you know this is. The most wonderful time of the year, pal. Yes. And on a serious note, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, how did your evening go, sir? Tell it was us. great. We started, Tell us about it. Tell we, us about we had a little champagne to start last night. We were over at Mr. Chow's in Caesar's Palace. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a couple paparazzis over there on Steve Stevens, wondering what's going on, wondering what's up with the show. People are really fiending for that shit. Skipper. Nice choice. I've been uh, hearing a lot about that. Yeah, it was good. Mr. Chow, shout out to Mr. Chow. Yeah, the restaurant was good. I've been there several times uh, in L.A. Uh, when we were doing all of our uh, Money Talk stuff. Mm -hmm. William Morris Agency is actually right across the street. Okay. So you walk right across the street, Mr. Chow's. Food was great. Atmosphere was great. Had a good time. Last night, the weather was beautiful. So it was overlooking the... Uh, New Caesars pool and fountain and just real, you know, gorgeous little area there. Mm -hmm. Figured after two kids, you know, my dad's gone. My dad said, you know, don't do what I did in life. Uh, give your, you know, family an honest fucking shot. And that's that's what I got to do, man. You know, when you got two kids and uh, she has two kids, so it's a family of, of six. It's us against the world, man. You got to go together. I just had to tell her, you know, my name means something to me. You got the Brady Bunch minus two. Oh, that's a fucking fact. <laughs> I went from a single Playboy Bachelor four years ago to uh, Nate plus eight. <laughs> Steve plus fucking six. You got a nice, beautiful family there, Steve. I'm happy for you. You know the big skipper's a family man. Absolutely. Uh, I think this is a good move on your part. Well, I'm, it's going to save me an extra I think it's, it's gonna, seven figures a year. You realize gonna, that, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to save you an awful lot. I, I wasn't going to take that angle. However, uh, uh, congratulations, Kelly. I know you're listening. Uh, sincerely from the big skipper and the big skipper's family. Congratulations. Well, and, thank uh, you, Skip. You know, I'm always here to uh, support the both of you. Well, God, I'll, I'll, that, that, that only means one thing for my clients, and that only means one thing for my sales room. I'm going to be here more. We're going to be making more money. I'm going to be more focused on betting, and I'm just going to make more money than I possibly ever can because now I'm focused. I got nothing else to do but to take care of my family, uh, and that's what I'm going to continue to do, eat fine dinners, uh, but more importantly, 
focus, do my homework, meet with players, meet with coaches, meet with the guys that make the line, and get the best angle in the fucking world possible for you and my guys to make money, period. Well, I love the sound of, uh, to all that, my friend. You want to tell these people how they can get a hold of us uh, before we start the cast? We've got a beautiful podcast for you, ladies and gentlemen. Going to talk a little bit about the NBA. Going to talk about a little bit about Khloe Kardashian's camel toe or her abs. One of the two. We'll see. And uh, recap a few things that are going on in college basketball. Uh, why don't you tell these people how to get a hold of us, Big Skipper? Well, you can call us at 877-220-6540. That's the quickest way to get a hold of us. It's the easiest way to get a hold of us. It'll get you directly into a representative. We can answer your questions. Uh, we can get you coded in, get you signed up, and get you on the big game tonight. 877-220-6540. That's the best and fastest way. Uh, if you want to go online, go to VIP Sports, LasVegas.com. You can put your phone number in there where it says free pick. Uh, if you just want to test the waters, we got packages on there for all levels of sports bettors. As I said, all shapes and sizes. If you like the podcast, you like what you're hearing, you can hear us on YouTube or iTunes. Uh, go ahead and put comments in about the show. I we, was just going like to say, Skip, comments. if you find us on YouTube and you come to our podcast, don't forget to press the subscribe button so you're subscribed to everything I do. Uh, we have uh, Rolls-Royce cab uh, pods where I'm in the car on the way to the sports book. We do Rolls-Royce cams. I give uh, up-to-date information, what I'm doing, my inside sources. When mm -hmm. you're subscribed, you get all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at VIP Sports LV. Uh, direct message us if you have any questions. And uh, Kenny will get back to you on any of that shit. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and that's a motherfucking fact, guys. Uh, anybody wants anybody involved, any type of internet orders, any type of questions you got, Kenny's got you for sure. He'll get you to the board right away. Skipper might get a little upset about it, but hey, it is what it is. All huh? you got to do is give us a call, 877-220-6540. And uh, say, listen. Hey, you know what? Why don't you call 877 220 6540 and just go. flat out ask for the big skipper? There you go. See, you know, Skip wants to talk a big fucking game. <laughs> he wants to have you guys call personally. I want you guys to call 877 220 6540 and ask for Skip. If he doesn't answer the phone, you're an asshole. Plain and fucking well, simple. Uh, there's a good chance I won't answer the phone since the, the, I'm not. Oh, no, you're going. Uh, uh, oh, but however, oh, you'll be getting. No, tell tell uh, Gabby or tell. Oh, they're going to be calling for you. Or you'll any of the receptionists. Hey, uh, I heard the podcast. I want to talk to the skipper. Guarantee you have 50 calls in the morning. Can we make a bet on that? Oh, that OG Kush is really... Now, let me tell you what this is. I want to give you a breakdown on this. This is a brand new... What it's called is a hybrid, skipper. It's the type of marijuana for the middle of the morning, the middle of the day. Wake up and get going. Some people need a bar of zest to wake up or Irish Spring. All I need is a good old-fashioned sour banana jack kush. I usually start out with some vitamin C, some fresh squeezed oh, orange so juice. I I mean, and, uh, you know, maybe a bowl of cereal or oatmeal. Or don't fool yourself. I'm on the finest vitamins in the world. Oh. Standard process. My brother's a nutritional specialist, chiropractor. Shout out to Dr. Scott out there, Dr. Chrissy. Advanced chiropractic out there in Arizona. He gets the job done. Yeah, I'm on vitamins all day long. Why do you think I'm not sick that much? Man, Everybody that's had this sickness has been sick for two weeks. Mm. I was sick for four days. You're going to need them. Anyway, moving on, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful podcast today. We're rocking and rolling. Uh, Skip's got a five-finger death punch uh, shirt on. He don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. My eyes are watering. My throat is fucking scratchy. I'm coughing up. You're glycerin. The room is fucking smoked up again. Hey, it is what it is. Like I said, I'm having, nobody a, hard time. Said, I'm having a hard time breathing. Okay, but nobody said this industry was easy. Okay, it's filled with smoke. Ooh. It's hard work. It's dedication. Nobody said this shit was easy. It's all smoke and mirrors. Yeah, that's goddamn right. Not, everybody, not, not, not as everything is what it appears. You understand that? Moving into NBA right off the bat. Uh, I don't think anybody gives a fuck, but like I said, Warriors defeat Orlando. Uh, Steph no Car way. Golden State won? Golden State wins another game. Ladies and gentlemen, they take I on Orlando. I can't believe it. Steph Curry sets a NBA record no. with his 128th straight game with a three-pointer. Another record. Congratulations out there to Steph Curry. You're a superstar. You're a stud. You're now, a beast. You're a stud and a beast. But for some reason, Michael Jordan just don't like him. Michael Jordan says he's on supplements, he's on steroids, he's on this, he's oh, on that, he's Michael, on that. Michael, shame on you. I mean, come on, Mike. You are the most gambling, degenerate, cheating motherfucker I've ever met in my life. Show some Michael love. Michael Jordan is the best player of all time, period. I am the Michael Jordan of the business, but Michael Jordan had a lot of Tom Brady in him. That motherfucker was willing to do whatever it took to, Show, to get the job done. Yeah, yeah, don't hate Michael. You of all people, no reason to hate, brother. Exactly. I mean, that's a motherfucker when he retires. You better send him all your shoe collection just like you did for Kobe. But Michael Jordan has a little thing against Steph. 
I think Steph is an absolute beast. He's an absolute blowout winner. And we've talked about it in the past. He was raised in an NBA family. Dad was an NBA player. Dale Curry got out there, got the job done, was raised as a baby. All around professional athletes had no choice but to be manicured and, and, and molded into one of the finest sharpshooters in the Speaking world. Speaking of manicure, I am feeling pretty good. I just had me a pedicure this morning. Did you really? Yes. Now, let me... Yes, ask... people, the skipper gets pedicures on a regular. Once oh, a... yeah, you guys might think once skip... A, once a month, brother. It's a, listen, guys, I... if you think I'm a little cor... <laughs> if you think I'm a little corny for the pedicure, if you've never had a pedicure in your life... Well, they don't got no money. Go, go Listen, give me a call. I'll win a couple games for you. Go get yourself a fucking pedicure. Yeah, exactly. Treat yourself. The, God, the, the only guys you that say... You get pedicures, don't you? Yeah, no, it's the only guys oh, that say that are God. gay are guys that can't do it or don't have the money oh, to do God. it. Well, listen, I can't even bend over and get to my toes anymore, brother. Listen, you hashtag know? crack feet ain't popping, fellas. <laughs> Oh, my feet are glycerin. <laughs> hey, uh, Speaking of glycerin. Hey, these motherfuckers rub their oh. feet. Hey, they're in bed with their wife. Uh, they're rubbing their feet together. The fucking old lady thinks there's crickets in the fucking room. Their fucking oh, feet are so God, chapped no, up. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God. You got Listen, to hashtag. My legs, are, my legs are fucking smooth from my knee down to my big I'm gonna, toe. I'm going to give I got, you. I got some of the sea salt. You get the sea salt when they scrub it on your fucking legs. I'm, gonna, I, I, I'm telling you, man. I'm going to give these people a couple facts Woo! that they probably have no idea about you. Man. Let me look in the camera. It's fucking wonderful. One thing, it doesn't matter what you guys think Skip look like. Like I said, his hands are soft as a baby's ass. He keeps his feet that way. And one thing about it is, uh, you know, it, you got to do what you got to do, man. Uh, I've never seen this guy eat. I've never seen you fucking eat unless I Thanksgiving party or I've snuck you a slice of pizza maybe twice in three years. <laughs> so this isn't well, a guy. I don't, I, I don't eat it when I'm working. Do I come to work? I'm here to fucking produce. I'm not I, here. I'm not here to have a smorgasbord. No, I understand that. But I mean, like, if you eat mean, one, like if you eat, some one, of these guys is fucking obviously eating three times a day. I never seen so many delivery fuck food delivery people in my fucking life. It, it's actually getting to the point. That's funny you say that because I'm bringing that up in the meeting. I mean, the that, that, they're all done. If you're eating more than once a day, uh, shame on you. Number one, bring your fucking lunch to work. Be ready to go. And when you walk in those doors, you better transform to that character and a guy that's working for Steve Stevens. Yeah, I have the most aggressive salesman in the world. If you're not going to be part of my high-powered sales force, if you're not willing to get in that booth, you're not willing to get the fucking job done, then get the fuck out. Because this ain't a game for little kids. This is for grown-ups. If you go over to my desk, you'll find a couple granola. I don't fucking play when I get to work. You'll find a couple granola bars in my desk. You, there's a few Nutri-Grain bars in there. There's some, you'll uh, find, you got granola bars I, in your desk and Kush in mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any Kush. You got I said Kush in mine. Oh, okay. You got Kush in your drawer. I got granola bars. I got a couple Nutri-Grain bars. Uh, I got some sunflower seeds, and I got a little trail mix in there. So, and I, I keep a little coconut water in the fridge, and uh, you know, I, I have a little, you know, snack here and there. You know, but I, I'm not, I'm not here to have a smorgasbord. I'm not, I'm not here to feast. All I was trying to tell these people is they can. A lot of people are a judge of character. People judge me as a certain way. They judge you as a certain way. Uh, what I'm saying is no matter what you weigh or what you look like, like, like I said, this motherfucker stays manicured, <laughs> hands, feet, soft, and like I said, I don't even see the fucking guy eat. That's why I don't understand why he ain't 100 I pounds. Had, I haven't had a shave in about a week. <laughs> but you don't give a fuck either, do you? I don't give a fuck. About okay, great. As long as we're making money and winning games, that's all that matters. That's it. We entertain people, we talk shit, we give them our opinion, but at the mm -hmm. end of the day, when they call us, they want to win. They don't want a friendship. They don't want to go skipping down to the park and play mm -hmm. fucking uh, cards with us. They want to win fucking money. I was just letting you know I feel good. I got a pedicure before yeah, I came in good. here. Okay. My, my feet are fucking smoother than a baby's ass. Uh, smoother than an ointment? And you know how smooth that is. Well, suckers with static, I smoke like a joint. My feet are smoother than Steve's fucking mouthpiece right now. <laughs> Motherfucker, you know I'm how, on fire. You know I'm how smooth that is. I'm on top yeah. of the mountain looking down Ooh. type deal. All I got to do is grab my hand. I'll bring it to the top. That's you it. deserve it, don't you? Mm. All I'm asking for is the opportunity to showcase my talent. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off real quick and give you guys some game for those salesmen out there who need to up their game. <laughs> Nobody's better than me. I understand you get calls every day. You've never had a call from me. All I want is the opportunity to showcase my talent. You deserve a couple extra dollars, don't you? Never met somebody in my life that couldn't use a second income. Sit back, relax. What do you mean? Sir, skepticism is a sign of intelligence. If you weren't skeptical, I'd probably think something was wrong with you. I'm on top of the mountain looking down. I'm going to grab my hand. All you got to do is grab it and I'm going to bring it right to the top. You deserve the best in life and you fucking know you do. Every now and then there comes a time where you deserve to shine. Sit back, relax, give it. Oh my God. Mm. Just a little taste of what you do to get people in and stay motivated. Give it 110%, ladies and gentlemen. One thing, if you want to be the best you can be, you got to give it all. You got to believe in yourself. You got to realize who you are and you can't take no for a fucking answer and you don't let nobody steal your dreams. Those motherfuckers are called dream stealers. You got to know that there's capability for you to do anything in this fucking world, period. Now that was after four hits of Kush. Oh, I'm, I'm just getting going. After another four These guys have no idea. We'll, I'm just getting we'll going. We'll be back in a few minutes after another couple of hits of Kush and he'll do it again. I'll, I'll go off right now. Excuse me, I don't understand what you said. <laughs> Sir, callbacks are like the Easter Bunny. Okay, they don't exist. Okay? What do you mean you'll call me back? Callbacks are like the Easter Bunny. They don't exist. 
Sir, give me two minutes of your time. If you don't like what I have to say, we'll simply hang up and part as friends. Fair enough? Fair enough. Beautiful. What's your name, Joe? Unbelievable, Joe. That's actually my favorite uncle's name, too. So it sounds like you and I are going to get along real well. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're selling anything you do in life, you can sell a deal and earn a commission, or you can make a friend and earn a fortune. Boss the fuck up. That's the lesson of the day. Steve Stevens lessons. There's going to be more coming soon. Yeah, we're going to bring back the sex talk with Veronica, and we're going to do all that shit. I don't know if she knows that yet, Did but uh, I'd love to. I I see if Veronica wants to come in here and talk about any type of tits, puss, or ass, or anything. Uh, please, Kenny. Uh, anyway, Golden State let's Warriors. Do, let's do that when we talk about Chloe. <laughs> yeah, we will. Bring her in, please. I want her to look at that picture. Oh, my God. Could you stop it's, coughing in my dude, ear, dude? It's fucking I'm smoking smoky as fuck. Well, I mean, goddamn, listen. <coughs> I got him today, Dude, guys. you're fucking killing I got him, guys. Seriously. <laughs> Skipper mm. is high. I got oh, you, Skip. God. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, but I think as you can tell, the marijuana doesn't affect me. It turns me into a fucking animal. It turns me into a guy that's willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. It turns me into a guy that'll get in that batter's box and hit the home run. Just need you to run the bases. Uh, the Warriors are off to uh, the best 57 game start in the league history at 52 and five. I just wanted to make that a stat. Uh, Vegas has them as favorites uh, uh, to win 73 uh, or more games. If you say yes, they will win 73 or more, it's minus $1.25. If you say no, it's $1.05. Would I bet something like that? No, and I don't give a fuck. Do you? Actually, I think the yes is stealing money. Minus yeah, it is. Minus it is for sure. Yeah, I don't care about giving that out. If I'll, I was, take, I'll take a piece of that right now. But I'm saying if I had nothing to do, I mean, you got nothing to do. Why you you want to give me a piece of that? Or you... Well, go put 12.5 on it, something small to win 10000 I'll go 12.5 to win 10000 out right and then do fucking it. now. So, and the next podcast, we'll show these guys the tickets and show well, them what on, to do. Hold See, on that's I, ain't what show, I ain't showing nobody my tickets. If you don't believe what I got to say, yeah, exactly. I know, if you exactly. don't believe fucking me, lick my nuts. But they all of our How's followers that? do. Yeah. They, they have our back on yeah. there when somebody yeah, checks you can them. show them my cock. But I, I don't really, I don't care about that. And, uh, well, you know... I, whether we have a they pool. got 52 wins now and 57 games. So what do they got left? They got 27 games left. They yeah. play 84, right? Correct. 27 games. Will they win uh, 21 out of those 27? Fucking absolutely. I think they will. Absolutely. I think they will for sure. Uh, anyway, moving on to college <laughs> basketball, Skip, which everybody's excited about. We've said that it would happen. Uh, number one, Villanova. Fails and falls short to number five, Xavier. Villanova is no longer number one. Uh, another from a long list of number ones to go down, Skip. They're still number one. Well, of course they are. And they, they probably... They, they lost. Kansas is number two. Uh, it, it, listen, some people got Kansas one. Some people got Villanova one. It doesn't matter. You know why? Because they're, uh, they're, they're, they're a number one team. Yeah, they're both... Listen, they're both number one. How's that? We're going to find out what the fuck happens here in a couple of weeks. It's all right. Tournament's right around the corner, and then we'll find out who's real and who's not. But I've always said, I sound like a broken record, you got to win on the road. Championship teams got to win on the road. Shame on you, Villanova, for coming up short in Xavier. Uh, you lost that game on the road. Should have been a win for you. You fell a little short, 90 to 83. It is what it is. I still love you. Still got faith in you motherfuckers, and uh, we'll see what happens when it comes to pu when push comes to shove. Right. Well, even if they aren't ranked in the polls as number one and they are number two, number one, it doesn't matter. Number two, we talked about there being the record seven number one teams throughout the yeah. year. Doesn't look like we're going to make it past no. six, just like you and I said. No, we won't. Uh, and as you said, you don't think that uh, Xavier should be number one. You said they should be number one along with Kansas. Is that what you're saying? No, Xavier should be a number one seed in the tournament, somebody asked us. And, uh -huh. I, and I said fucking no. Oh, okay. Okay, let me get this straight. Villanova Because and Xavier can beat, you know, Villanova. <laughs> I, 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 I just, I don't, I don't. Xavier's ranked number five right now. Right. They're not going to jump up to number one or number two. They're not passing Villanova just because they beat them. Not at this point of the year. No, no. not right now. No, it's a little too late. Uh, it is what it is. They're a solid team. Xavier is rock solid. They've been great all year. Congratulations for beating the number one team on your own court. And, uh... Should you be a number one seed in the tournament? Probably not. Well, I tell you what, how crazy is this NCAA tournament going to be, Skip? It's going to be insane. It's been a bizarre season. You just said it. There's been six different teams that have been number one this year. The record is seven. Uh, lot of Which basically tells you anybody can beat anybody in this fucking tournament. There's a lot of fucking parity out there this year in college basketball. It's been an insane fucking year. Very, very difficult to figure out if you're out there on your own and you don't got the information that we have. Let me step uh, in right there. In the last 21 games, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, uh, we've won 16 games. Out of our last 21 games, we're 16 and 5. Absolutely on fire in college basketball. NBA is a. Uh, but did I say 16 fucking, and 0 like these guys advertised? Did I say no. 16 and 0, 25 and 1, this, that, and 
16 and five out of our last 21 games, we're kicking ass and taking fucking names. Like I said on the podcast, a uh, little short message that I gave. Yeah, we lost the game of the year last year, uh, last week, but mm-hmm. we still hit 74% for the week. You understand? We're having a hell of a run, man. Why don't you tell these people a little bit about what hell we're doing in college basketball? Like Congratu- I said. I want to congratulate Duke. They worked their way back in there. They They're, sure as fuck have. Duke's, congratulations, Duke. Duke's back to 15, number 15. Uh, what I really want to, who I really want to congratulate, Michigan State got themselves back in the mix. Fucked. I mean, they're, they're back. They got them ranked number six now, right behind Xavier. They are. They're a solid team. They, they were be- number one, you know, in the beginning of the season. Yeah, and they, strong, but they, they just embarrassed themselves in the beginning of the they, fucking season. They lost season. some real bad games. Yeah. But they worked hard. They got themselves back. They're ranked sixth again. And the thing I like about Michigan State is those... Uh, those motherfuckers cover, and that's important because we're here to cover games. Period. We don't give a fuck who wins or loses. Michigan we just care State who covers the spread. Michigan Ladies State is one of the top covering teams uh, out of the top 20 teams. Yeah, you're not listening to ESPN. We're giving you advice based off the spread. We don't yeah. give a fuck who wins or loses the game. We care who covers the spread, bottom uh, line. On the flip side of that, shame on you, SMU. I've been saying all year uh, they're overrated. SMU's overrated. Texas is overrated. And sure enough, they've uh, fallen. Well, you say uh, Oklahoma's overrated. Yeah. Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you let's got a lot bring, of anger towards your fucking... Yeah, let's not bring up a source of it. Oh, fuck. All right. Anyway, like I said, man, just kicking ass and taking names. Um, we're making more money in the college NBA fucking season right now than we ever have. There's more money to be made in the month of March than any fucking month during primetime football, period. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time where everybody comes out. This is where grandpa, grandma, everybody in the fucking world plays the tournament. And like I said... Don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. It's a trillion dollar industry. We're making millions and millions of dollars year in, year out. Come be a part of this system. Come be a part of our program. Come put, jump a part of this fucking money train because you fucking deserve it, man. We're making fucking money, killing bookies. Come be a part of our team. You deserve You got winners and losers. Which one are you? Here's what it comes down to. This is the last weekend of the regular college basketball season. Bill, Bill you, and the bankroll is running out of time. I mean, did you hear what I said? It's the last weekend of the regular college basketball season. This season has flown by. College basketball is almost over. Yeah. However, the best part is yet to come. Wednesday night, the conference tournaments start. You're going to get 11 days of complete fucking madness. And for my money, folks, the conference tournaments are more profitable and more exciting than the big dance itself, as far as I'm concerned. You got 11 straight days of college basketball starting at 9 in the morning, going until 9, 10 o'clock at night, literally for 11 days straight. Four of those tournaments, Steve, are going to be right here in Las Vegas. We got the Pac-12 tournament. We got the Mountain West Conference Tournament, we got the WAC Tournament, and we got the WCC you Tournament. You got the WAC Tournament? Mm-hmm. Okay. The WAC Tournament. I like it. What else? I don't know. Are, are, you want me to keep talking or you want to cough? I'm so high from the triple banana that I just wanted well, to get... Well, we got to speed this up, dude, because this is like a fucking smoke chamber in here today. Sorry about that, pal. Listen, let's just talk about a little political talk since we opened up talking Oof. political last week. Mm. We talked about Donald Trump. You want to say anything about that? Uh, not really. Well, Congra- I'm d- Congratulations, Trump. That's it. That's it. We knew he'd win, right? Well, I would like to say one. I would like to say one thing. I normally, I normally don't direct comments directly towards our listeners, uh, <coughs> Jim Stevens. Uh, yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I, I do support Trump. And uh, anytime you want to be educated, we'll sit. We'll sit down over a couple of beers. And yes, I am from Philly, my friend. It's okay to be a Republican from Philly. I'm not a fucking. Sh- I'm not a fucking sheep. Okay, I'm not a follower. I'm a fucking leader. Mm. Tr- Trump's a you leader. You got leaders and followers. Trump's a leader. I'm a leader. Yeah. Are most of the people back in South Philly fucking Democrats? Yes, they are. I don't want to get into politics on this podcast. It's not what it's about. I can't tell. Uh, well, I'm not supporting Hillary. If you want to support Hillary, Jim, go right ahead. Uh, and if you don't think Trump is for gambling. Uh, you must be blind. The guy owns casinos all over the fucking world. <laughs> like I said, we just drove by the Trump last night on the way to Caesar's Come Palace on, and said that thing will be twice the size here yeah. real soon. The stereotypical fact that uh, the Republicans are not for gambling, that's old fucking news. The new Republicans are here, and uh, Trump is definitely for gambling. So, As, a, as an American, you, you vote for the guy that's going to be best for your life, and Donald Trump is going to legalize gambling because yep. he has his casinos yeah. and he has his hotels. They haven't given him his license. Every president uses their power to do side business. And that's okay. If you as long as you run the country right, that's okay. George Bush and his dad, they were doing oil and, and, and machine guns and all that type of shit, making side money. <laughs> uh, Obama, I don't know what he's doing. Listen, he's probably endorsing Gov- cigarettes or something somewhere. Listen, Governor, Governor Christie of New Jersey is a Republican. Right, Jim? My point uh, is... He's for sports gambling, right? He's, he's trying to legalize sports uh, betting always, in Jersey? Always. Well, so is Trump, my friend. Believe me, he's for it. Trump is a businessman, and he knows that sports betting... 
legalizing sports betting and legalizing marijuana. Yeah, let me tell so you. So listen to what it brings in a lot of money. Trump's a businessman. He ain't no fool. So now that we're not seeing, I love how you broke it down like that. To all you sports betters and guys that want gambling to be legal, it's the only reason why I'm, I'm even involved with the guy. I can't vote. I'm a fucking ten time felon. Uh, I, I can't vote. But Skip, uh, <laughs> he, I, I definitely support Trump. And uh, if it was me, I'd be Steve Stevens for president. I can go run this shit like there's no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be a good role model, blowing Kush at the fucking uh, elementary school after my speech. I mean, that'd Al be and Alan West for vice president. If you you heard it right here, Alan West for vice president. Absolutely. But you know, at the end of the day, like I said, he's gonna make gambling legal because you just said it right there. He's gonna use his right. power to get gambling in his casinos and his hotels. He's going to make a lot of money and just run the country the right way. We're going to make a lot of shit great again. And we're going to get fucking yeah. paid. We're going to get this country fucking back in order. For work. those that want yeah. to work and those who want to get paid, you're going to get rewarded. Yeah. Those that want to lay down and eat lower tabs off the government, it's what you're going to be all day long. <laughs> you want to live in your mom's third room or something like that and you're 55 years old, God bless you, brother. Mm. There's more to life than fucking lower tabs, heroin, and fucking uh, mm. marijuana. Wow. Yeah. Moving on. You know what I mean? The next section here is talking about NFL, to be quite honest with you. I don't give a NFL. fuck about it. I don't, I don't give a yeah. dog fuck about it. Who gives a fuck about the NFL? Go ahead and put a big... Ah. Go ahead and put a big X over the NFL. Yeah, sorry, uh, guys. I nobody mean, wants to hear about the NFL right now. No. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that, Steve. NFL? Ain't nobody got time for that. NFL? Ain't nobody want to hear that shit. Oh, my God. All right, moving on. Skip, I want you to pull up your uh, computer right there oh, real quick. Yeah. Uh, I want you to look a, a, at a picture of Khloe Kardashian. Now, guys, you I, are, see, every, I see it. She's everybody that knows me knows that I got games bigger than Khloe Kardashian's oh camel toe. God. And that motherfucker's as big as it gets. It's showing off her abs. What do you think mm. about that? I'm not quite sure what to think about well, that. Well, she, I mean, she's got a nice, I mean, she's obviously been she, working out. She's had some sculpting surgery there for sure. Yeah. Uh, she's been working out. It looks good. Mm. She's pulling down. I mean, all she had to do was pull her pants down one more inch and we'd see her pussy. Hey, I've always said I'd pound Chloe. Would if, you? if I wasn't married. No, if, but he, yeah. of course, of course. But I wish she would either. I mean, is her thumb in her pussy right That's there? That's not a goddamn thing I could do to Chloe. She wouldn't even fucking know I was around. She's had horse <laughs> cock. Oh, no. <laughs> but you know I what? Mean, I'd, have to, I'd have to fucking no. shake her and say, hey, Big Skip was here. No. I, I, I don't know if you realize it, but Big Skip has just been on no. it for the, for the last 10 minutes. You're like an appetizer. You tickle her a little appetizer. bit. Appetizer? Yeah, you I'm come. I'm telling you, that bitch wouldn't even know I was around. Well, but, but you, if She's you, banging NBA players, dude. Skip, fuck, I mean, skip. come on, bro. You'd be surprised with a little hit to the ribs will do. Oh. As soon as you put that little four in there, oh. get a little jab, and she'll remember you for life. She'll, you'll just be, listen. She you, won't even know I was around. You would be her appetizer. You would just be like a finger. <laughs> she, so you, she you would eat me alive, bro. Yeah, what you do, you just rub your dick around circles. She thinks it's a finger, and then mm. you let Lamar oh. Tyrone come right in behind you with a 15 and kill her. Oh, God. I'm happily married. Uh, if anyone deserves the cock of the year, it's definitely Chloe. Oh, God. But anyway, her abs look okay. She looks all right, yeah. Yeah, I wish she'd have just showed her pussy. That she, it looks like she wanted to. Yeah, just take your clothes off already. Yeah, just show us your pussy. I don't yeah. really want to see Who your tits. Who the fuck wants to see your stomach? Well, no, but her stomach does look pretty. I mean, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I want to see her tits. I don't really like Chloe, uh, you know, due to the, you know. Her, I told you before. I think she's, I mean, her she's, track record. she's the only one I do like. Is it? Yeah. She wouldn't even look at you. She don't like white dudes. She's only, I mean, I'm sure what she's fucked white guys. Have, what does that have to do with anything? Because you just said, you just hit it on the I head. You she's, gotta, the only, she's the only one I actually like. I, I'm not a big fan of Kim. But my point is, I, I mean, the one uh, that you actually like. The other one with five fucking kids and, you know, a, a single mother. Yeah, no. Courtney, I found it. Courtney, that's the greasy one. No. That's the one that lights the incense, armpits, the one smell doing, like it. She's doing Bieber. She's doing everybody. Right? Yeah, she, yeah, she went out like, you know, Scott Disick wanted to be in a video. She went out and sucked Bieber's cock. <laughs> oh, God. Got you back. Yeah, sweetie. So she's fucking behind closed doors. They all are. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Kardashians are getting their money. Uh, the Bruce, the guy that turned into Caitlyn, I can't even look at that shit no she more. She stepped up her game. She looks like she's got some tight abs there. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting picture. Now, do you notice her camel toes getting a little smaller? <laughs> I, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not going to be able to use that quote no more. <laughs> I can't use a game bigger than Khloe Kardashian's camel toe. Looks mm -hmm. like she's had a v vaginal tuck. She might, yeah. I think she's had a little review, uh, vaginal rejuvenation there. Jude, he's got me fucking... Hashtag vagina rejuvenation. If your lips hang and you don't want to get no bang, get them things tucked. Hashtag get them tucked, girls. Jude, what? Jude, he's got me coughing the entire podcast again. Yeah, hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Bobby Bass, yeah, I blew him out of the water. I got wow. Skipper high as he possibly my eyes, My eyes are actually watering, like, a, like the Niagara Falls. Oh, man, I'm sorry, bro. Anyway, like I said, moving on. Chloe looks pretty good there. I give her a little bit of props. Uh, she's slimming down and her camel toe's getting littler. So mm -hmm. hats off to Chloe and uh, making her camel toe smaller. What else you want to talk about? A big weekend? Because I got to get some air, bro. Yes, I do. Go ahead. You want to talk about this weekend? Yeah, well, I do. It's the last weekend of the... Uh, oh, we already did. See? You do got me baked or something. <laughs> it's... <laughs> we already talked about this weekend, right? 
It's yeah. the last weekend of the regular college basketball season. If you want to make money, if you want to pad your bankroll for these conference tournaments that start on Wednesday, damn it, pick up the phone and give us a call. 877-220-6540. Steve just assured every one of you, you'll get to talk to the big skipper if you want. If I'm not too busy, I make time for all my people. I don't care if you're a shrimp. I don't care if you're a minnow. I don't care if you're a tuna or a motherfucking whale. I'll talk to you. Give me a call this weekend, 877-220-6540. Let's get that bankroll going because these conference tournaments are right around the corner. And with that, I mean, he took all the words out of my mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Like I said, now is the time of the year. Now's the time of the year we're making money. You need to understand VIP Sports has a team of experts designed to generate the best sports information available. Yes, I do. deal with players, coaches, CEOs. Skip can sell sports for any company in Las Vegas, Florida, New York, anywhere he wants to. He's here for a reason. I'm the number one documented, most feared sports better in the world, and nobody makes more money than me betting sports. It makes my job a lot easier I don't we, give a fuck if you like me. I don't care if you think you're cock. I'm cocky. I don't care if, if you love me. My job is to make you fucking money. And if you're going to bet sports, if you're going to get involved, there's more money to be made in sports betting than any other investment in the fucking world. I'll make you more money betting sports than you do at your job. So if you ever thought about calling, if you ever thought about making money betting sports, now's the time. We make more money in college basketball in the month of March than we make any month betting football. From the bottom of my heart, VIP Sports Podcast. It's a beautiful day out here in Las Vegas. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, get the fuck up out of your chair. Do whatever it takes to get the job done. Give us a call. Let me go make you some fucking money because you deserve it. Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. VIP Sports Las Vegas Podcast. The big skipper, Steve Stevens. See you. Wouldn't want to be you. We love you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Stephen Kelly. Thanks. Kelly, what's up? <laughs> If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make a hundred thousand dollars a day. We play with big cash and we're blowing money fast. Riding in a plush Benz trunk full of money bags. I need a G for every light bulb on the Vegas strip. Naked bitches in my mansion dancing to some player shit. Made a grip on the grind, but I started out with nothing. Dealt me a bad hand, but I still won bluffing. I'm Steve Stevens. I make G's when I'm sleeping. Some cowards shot me up his name, wanna see me breathe.